Welcome to the Researcha YouTube channel. My name is Jorge and I will introduce you to modeling and simulation with blocks. In this example, we will try to compute the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Start by creating a new Modelica class and give it a name. For this example, we will use the blocks available in the Modelica standard library 4.0. There are many kinds of blocks depending on what they do, but we will start with the most simple ones, blocks. We will need something that gives us the X and Y of the triangle. We will use, in this case, the ramp block available in sources. Let's name this one X. And let's add another one and call it Y. If you check the text view, Open Modelica adds the code for us. I'm using these ramp blocks to show how their output changes in time. If you double click on them, you can change their parameters. For the case of X, Let's start with an offset of 1. And we want to end with a value of 10. So let's give it a height of 9. We will simulate for 10 seconds. But we want to start increasing the value after one second. Let's change Y now. We want to end with a height of 10. And we want to start in this case with an offset of 0. For this one, I will start increasing the value after 2 seconds. Therefore, the duration is 8. Inside the math sub packets, you will find a gain. Connect the Y block to the gain and give the parameter K inside the gain a value of 2. This will multiply the value of the Y block, its output, by 2. Now we will use the block Pythagoras to compute the hypotenuse. You can find it using the library's browser as well. Connect the different outputs to the Pythagoras block inputs and go to the simulation setup. Here we want to change the stop time and write 10 seconds.
the integration method that we will use is the most simple of them Euler's method there are many others with more or less complexity but for this case we will use uh, as I said Euler's method the most simple of them Click OK to simulate now. Open Modelica starts compiling the code and then we can plot the different results. The X block starts increasing its value all the way to 10 from 1 after 1 second. Y starts at zero and starts increasing its value after two seconds. The game block provides an output twice as big as the Y value. And finally, we can plot the value of the hypotenuse. which you can see here. Thank you so much for watching and see you in future videos.